Step into a world where folklore meets the supernatural, where legends come to life and mysterious tales unfold. Welcome to Memory Chronicles, where the past holds the key to unlocking the secrets of the present. Join us as we delve into the realms of myth and mystery, exploring the untold stories that linger in the shadows of history. Get ready to embark on a journey of discovery with us. Memory. Oh, what's up? It's you again. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, I mean, I've heard a little bit about it. I could do my research and let the people know. I, I got it. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. This is this was your favorite legend. Oh, oh okay. Like every other legend. Is, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let, let me get on with the show. Let me get on with the show. All right. Thank you for calling in. Ghostly from the friendly past. I'll let the people know about this next folklore. Thank you. All right. Bye. Welcome back, my friend, links to the Memory Chronicles podcast. I am your host, author, and sister friend, Memory. I'm so excited for today's episode, as you all heard from my producer and co-host, the ghost from the friendly past. It is going to be a good one. Let's gather around the fire and let's get into this. All right, we're back at it again. I'm so excited for this next story. This next story is brought to you through an awesome friendling on TikTok that sent me a message and said, hey, have you ever heard the story of this special person? And truth be told, I had never. So I did advise I will do my research. And here we are. I'm here to present this legend. I'm so excited because this is right up my alley, right? And so the other part that I want to also make mention real quick, shameless plug, we are dropping historical dark history legend folklore podcast every Monday at 6 a.m. And you can find these podcasts on most of your podcast platforms and if you do have an Alexa device you can simply tell her to play Memory Chronicles podcast latest episode or if you want to listen to all the episodes that is absolutely fine and the other exciting part is because I am a true content creator at heart for so many years I am staking some visual podcasts on youtube for your viewing pleasure so you can have viewing podcasts or listening podcasts but let's get right into it without further ado this is the legend of the, the queen, queen Adam Adam. Adam. let's get into our time capsule and go all the way back Specifically to AD 15. You heard correctly. AD 15. For context, we are taking a trip all the way back in time to what would be now called East Africa, to what would be now called Somalia. So we're taking a trip back to ancient Somalia in AD 15. We are going to talk about this beautiful queen. After her father's passing, she was the next person in line to be bestowed the throne. Her step into this position at that time would be somewhat controversial, especially for that time, for a well-established kingdom a well-established and a well-running kingdom so let's jump right into this and let's get into it once upon a time on the vast sun-soaked landscapes of ancient Somalia they reigned a queen of unparalleled might and wisdom her name was Aruelo the tales of her reign still echo through the corridors of history whispered by the desert winds and etched in the hearts of the Somali people. 
Arevalo. A beautiful sun-kissed woman with high cheekbones, even lips, and beautiful locks of hair. Stood to be the queen of a powerful kingdom. Arevalo's ascent to power was anything but ordinary. Born into a time of chaos and strife, she saw the suffering of her people and vowed to bring an end to it. With an indomitable spirit and mind, sharp as the desert thorns, she united the fragmented clans under her banner. Her reign was marked not just by her political acumen, but also by her radical vision of gender equality. In an era where women were largely confined to the shadows of society, Aruela rose like the fierce desert sun, illuminating a path of empowerment. She boldly restructured her kingdom, placing women in positions of power and influence. Men found themselves in unfamiliar roles, hunting and gathering while their wives and sisters took charge of governance and community affairs. Queen Aruelo had also inherited her father's great council, which also included of powerful spiritual mediums. Queen Aruelo's theory was matriarchy over patriarchy she felt that women too can be empowered in different roles and that women need not only be constricted to certain roles she at that time in AD 15 wanted to create a progressive culture that favored her kingdom and represented her strength Aruelo was both loved and feared. Her innovative policies brought prosperity and progress. But they also drew eerie from those who clung to the old ways. Legends say that her wisdom was nourished by nightly counsel with spirits of ancient queens who whispered the secrets of leadership into her ears. But every reign encounters trials. And Queen Aruelo's was no different. Resistance brewed among the disgruntled men, culminating in a powerful rebellion led by her once loyal generals. Faced with the prospect of war within her own realm, Queen Aruelo stood resolute. She donned her armor and rode into battle at the head of her army, casting aside the traditional boundaries that separated rulers from warriors the battle raged through the night the sounds of clashing swords and cries of war echoing through the star-strewn sky it was in this crucible of fire that queen Aruelo's legacy was forged she fought with ferocity of a lioness defending her cubs embodying the very spirit of her kingdom's resilience. In the end, it was not the force of arms that secured her victory, but her unparalleled wisdom and shrewd diplomacy. She offered a path to peace, promising to restore balance and harmony between men and women, blending the strengths of both in a new social order. The rebels, weary and awed, by her unwavering resolve, laid down their arms. Under Queen Aruelo's renewed leadership, the kingdom flourished like never before. Her innovative approach to governance and society cultivated a golden age of art, science, and culture in ancient Somalia. Craftsmen and poets, inspired by her transformative vision, wove the queen's glory into their works ensuring her deeds and virtues would be immortalized queen aruelo's court 
became a beacon of wisdom, attracting scholars and emissaries from distant lands. They came to witness the miracle she had wrought, a society where harmony, justice, and equality reign supreme. Her influence extended beyond mere politics. She instilled a deep sense of purpose and pride among her people, uniting them in a shared destiny. Yet, despite her triumph, Queen Aruelo remained ever vigilant. She spent many a night gazing at the stars, seeking counsel from the celestial spirits who had first guided her path. They hinted at future challenges, reminding her that the sands of time are ever shifting and vigilance is the guardian of progress. In her later years, Queen Aruelo's physical strength waned, but her spirit burned brighter than ever. She passed down her wisdom in the form of parables and proverbs, creating a rich tapestry of knowledge that would be passed from generation to generation. Her lessons on leadership, compassion, and equality became the bedrock of Somali culture and governance today. As the twilight of her life approached, Queen Arawello chose her rightful heir, not by birthright, but by merit. A young woman as fiercely intelligent and courageous as Queen Arawello herself was groomed for leadership with a heart heavy but filled with pride. Queen Arawello passed her crown, confident that her legacy would endure. And so, the tale of Queen Aruelo became legend, an enduring story that transcended time and space. Parents whispered it to their children, who have passed it down to theirs, ensuring that the memory of Queen Aruelo, who dared to dream and reshape her world, would never fade. Even in today's time, on the windswept plains and in the bustling cities of Somalia, the spirit of Queen Aruelo lives on, a true testament to the power of vision, courage, and the underlining pursuit of justice and equality. Until next time, stay, stay safe, safe out there. there. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Memory Chronicles podcast. Spread the word by sharing your favorite 30 to 60 second clips on your social media. It helps us connect with like-minded listeners like you. We're dropping new episodes every Monday at 6 a.m. Central Time. So set your alarms. Want to support the show? Hit our link tree in the description and buy us a coffee. Every bit helps. Interested in being a guest or curious about Memory's latest book projects? The link tree has all the info you need. Catch us on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, our Memory Chronicles. Join our growing community by following, subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. From all of us here, and from Memory, thank you for your time and support. Stay safe, and see you next time.